My package from OEM Audio finally arrived in this huge box containing everything we're gonna need for this unbox and installing. You guys all remember Calvin. So he's gonna help me here with this install and whatnot and the unboxing and um, we're just gonna jump right into it and we're gonna start unboxing it because I know that's what we're both dying to do. <laughs> Wait to see what's inside, so. Yep, let's do it. Oh, oh nice. Card nothing. Card. I'm, I don't want to like drop anything. Table. It seems like the these are car okay. These are carbon fiber. So these are I think the the, the door speakers on yeah. the sides. So these are like carbon fiber. I don't know. Look at that. Carbon fiber speakers. So like weight reduction though, right? Oh, more cardboard. Oh my God, that's a lot of wiring. Whoa. This is that's like oh, that's like five pounds of wiring. Okay, wiring. I want to open. Amp is on the back of the sub. Now you may be asking yourself, wow, he knows how to install audio speakers and wiring? Nope, I don't, but that's why I have Calvin, because he's going to show me how to do it. <laughs> Instructions. I love instructions. I'm gonna say this now. This isn't gonna be a detailed install video, but I will reference. Um, click this annotation to watch this video by OEM Audio. It's actually like a step by step. It's an amazing install video on how to do this exact thing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna follow what they say. But if I run into any problems or any like altercations that make it more difficult than it really seems, you guys are all gonna find out because it seems really easy. It is really easy, so. Looks really tempting to me. Tempting, is that the right word? Looks, it, it's scaring me. That's a lot of wiring. Well, you're just, you, you don't see what I see. Wires aren't like scary at all. Wires scare me. I'm gonna open the instruction manual and we're not gonna screw this up. Don't worry, it's very hard. To Anyways, we're gonna get to the install here and I'll catch up with you in a little bit if you run into any altercations. Don't act like you didn't want to do it. A clean workspace is a happy workplace. So now what I have to do, ow, this is really small in here. I have to cut into the carpet. Doesn't really say like really, it says where, but like. You can remove the panel. Yeah, but like. But like what? It's irrational, TJ. We're cutting it, baby. How do they cut into that? All right, I think we're gonna remove the panel. After removing the door panel, which is one of the easier parts of the whole thing, we're gonna replace the old speaker with this new one, the carbon fiber speaker. And it's gonna be pretty sick. So guys, I'm gonna give you an update of how far we've come so far. Um, so basically what I've done is took apart all these side panels and stuff, and um, you s actually it's still pretty much all apart, but I've ran th this wiring harness through here, cut a little hole, so now it's going underneath the bottom of the seat, and then it's gonna wire to the front side of the car near the driver's side, and I bypassed this stock amp with these wires here, that part of the harness, you can see like it's bypassed, we're not even using it now, because there's an amp there's an amp uh, on the sub that's going in the car. So I show Calvin, basically now, continuing that harness, putting it through the fire, uh, the fire wire, like firewall. Fire, well, I said fire wire. Going through the firewall of the car so we can connect it to the battery. And then you can see that the um, radio of the car is out. So we have taken out the nav because we need to access access the back of it to continue more of the wiring harnesses and all that good stuff. So it all looks like a lot of stuff and really confusing, but coming from a guy who really doesn't know anything about audio, 
it's not that bad in the instructions and the video that I've been following that I mentioned earlier. It's making things pretty simple. So all in all, we should be done here in probably about like an hour, which is, which is pretty awesome. So I'll give you an update when we uh, get a little farther in the install. Okay, so we finally ran into something that is actually turning out to be kind of really, really, really annoying. Um, when you swap out the tweeter speakers, it's like the clip to remove it from the back is in such a small spot because you're pinched between the window and the dash. And we've been sitting here for a while trying to get it out and we've been pretty unsuccessful. So it's definitely doable, but it's just gonna take a really long time to do it. And um, it's not fun. It's very oh. And we got it. And that's one. So here let me tell you. You uh doesn't tell you how to get off that speaker. But so yeah, we did it, we did one of them, but yeah, that's probably that's probably the hardest part of this installation is doing that. So Oh, oh my god, that sounded like you broke it. We good, did it though. Good thing we're not using it anymore. <laughs> All right, so we now just finished wiring up everything and installed the amp and all that stuff, but we haven't fully put everything away. Everything's still pretty much torn apart, but we just wanna make sure before we put everything back, because there was so much wiring and stuff, that we're all getting everything working and whatnot. So for example, what I'm saying is, we have the sub in the car, but it's not fully connected. It's still pretty much stripped throughout the car, but um, so yeah, we're gonna start the car. And uh, we're basically just gonna turn it on. If every, everything works, then we did it right. If it doesn't work, then uh, get wrecked because that was a lot of time wasted. Yeah, I hear it. Okay, so I ended up cutting the last clip because I didn't want to um, get any like royalty issues with the music and whatnot. So basically, what we're gonna do now is everything works. So everything worked perfect. We had no issues with that. Um, so it was pretty easy to install. The only thing that we had trouble with or slight issues with was doing the little tweeters, getting those out. And um, and I guess you could complain about putting these harnesses into the sub, other than that, it was really easy. So we're gonna put everything back in like fully this time, and then we're gonna do a little clip of me and Calvin sitting in the car, and we're basically gonna play a song that uh, doesn't have any royalty issues or anything like that, so you can get our first impression to see what it really sounds like. And that's gonna do it for this video, so let's get to finishing it, because I am ready to hear this audio. All right guys, so we finally just finished everything. And uh, before we do a little sound test of me and Calvin in the car listening to it, so this is what the sub enclosure looks like when it's done. I don't know how well you can see that, but this big solid box painted, painted satin black sits here and looks literally OEM, hence the name of the company. So all in all is now finally done. I would say the install is probably maybe about, maybe about like a six or seven out of 10. Not too difficult, but some things took a little while to uh, fully get in place and all that. but. Let's take it to the car and do a little sound check. It's like vibrating. TJ, first Ooh. impressions, baby. Okay. Wow. Okay, so long. Kind of lost the words here, but mm. I'm hearing noises that I've never heard before in this car. Like listening to the same songs, you hear stuff and you hear like different background noises in the song that you don't hear. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. First thing that is like the mids. You were you, like you yeah, were the mids it. are really good. That's coming from these door speakers, the, the door carbon fiber door speakers. speakers. Like and it's like. It it's it sounds way better than OEM because I have stock and it's definitely good. And yeah, you have a stock BRZ with it's like it's definitely good, but much better now. The highs are really bright. You could really hear it when in the claps, a, like the tweeters. Yeah, exactly. And then the low, the lows are very punchy, very punchy. 
Yeah, I think that's coming from the base. And like mm. I said before, this is the robust sub. And um, it's not it's not like it's hitting really hard, like mm. you're having mm. a, like a subwoofer mm. contest with a friend, but it's like a really, really comfortable like bass that you've never heard before. And it, mm. it, it's and it doesn't feel like it's coming from the back. It feels like it's like coming from the whole car, which yeah, it, yeah. It, it's like it's, it, it's like an it's acoustic cool. feeling. It's really cool. It's yeah. I'm really impressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I almost wanted to do it one more time. But if there was one thing we could add to the system would be something to control the bass, like a dial yeah. or something. If I'd add one thing. Yeah. But But that that's that's it, nitpicking it, it, yeah, to that's the nit, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's super that's nitpicky, like but, super nitpicky. But yeah, it's it's really good. It's really good without it. But if you had it, it would make it a little better. I'm 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 hundred percent blown out of the water. Like it's like I said, it's it's not like it's not like you had a really nice system to begin with and put a huge sub in the back, so you just have this overriding sub. It's just like it feels like I have a whole, completely entire new setup when we only replaced four speakers and then a sub in the back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely blown away. So you know what? I said we continue the music and rock out a little bit. That that's kind of what I'm. That's kind of what I want to do. Let's do it. So one question I do want to answer is, how, so the sub is inside the car right now and I'm playing a song that has actually quite a bit of bass. And one question that I know everybody's going to be wondering is, is there a knowing trunk rattle with the subs playing? And honestly, none at all. And so for example, right now the car is playing at a comfortable 15 volume. And uh, there is leakage out of the car, but uh, that was there way before the speaker system even got put in. The BRZ doesn't have the best um, insulation for noise and whatnot so obviously it's going to be louder now since you have the way better speakers in there but that's something is to know that there is a bit of leakage but that's with all cars but no vibration in the trunks i'm pretty stoked about so i don't look like some ricer kid going down the road with vibrating trunks trying to act all over everybody but that's something to know because that's that's a pretty good selling point <laughs>